The anime begins by showing a Japanese girl who dies, but suddenly wakes up in the body of the antagonist character in the game she was playing. That character is named Aileen, a noble princess experiencing a stroke of bad luck because Prince Cedric decided to break off their engagement and dump her in front of everyone. Even so, Aileen is not heartbroken because she has seen this event in the game. Besides the engagement issue, Aileen also has to face a difficult situation because, based on her memories, the main character in this world will rise and face the Demon King, while Aileen, who is the main antagonist, will surely end up tragically. To prevent this, Aileen decides to approach the Demon King, but she must pass through a forest guarded by monsters. Although it's not easy, with strong determination, Aileen manages to reach the front of the Demon King's castle. Coincidentally, the Demon King named Claude is there, and he surprises Aileen by destroying the gate with his magic. Upon meeting him, Aileen feels that the Demon King is more handsome than she had expected, so handsome that Aileen is mesmerized by him. Therefore, without thinking twice, Aileen immediately asks him to marry her. This proposal shocks Claude, and he unintentionally causes lightning to strike, making Aileen lose consciousness. Aileen then dreams about her past, where she was a princess from a prestigious noble family, but because she was born a girl, Aileen was not as great as her siblings. Apparently, when she was eight years old, Prince Cedric proposed to her. Because of this, Aileen studied diligently and tried her best to become a great princess. However, in the game, Aileen is seen as an arrogant prince's fiancé. On the other hand, it was revealed that Claude is Cedric's half-brother. After the royal family discovered that Claude is a descendant of demons, he was exiled to a castle, and his right to the throne was revoked. Back to the present, when Aileen proposes to him, Claude thinks that she is sent by someone to trap him. Therefore, Claude orders his subordinates to immediately expel Aileen. However, Aileen, who has woken up, refuses to comply and insists on having her proposal accepted because she also has her own difficulties. Eventually, Aileen realized that her current appearance was not appropriate, so she decided to freshen up before meeting him again. However, Claude doesn't want Aileen to return, so he uses magic to fix her clothes and then forcibly teleports her back home. After that, Aileen receives news from her father that Cedric will be engaged to Lilia. Therefore, Aileen is asked to attend the evening banquet and fill out the engagement cancellation documents. Sometime later, Aileen goes to meet Claude again and tells him about the upcoming evening banquet and the possibility that Cedric will dump her again in front of everyone. Therefore, Aileen asks Claude to accompany her to the banquet. At the same time, they receive news that there is a Finra cub, or wolf monster, in the academy area. As someone who knows the academy location very well, Aileen volunteers to help retrieve it. Although she has a dispute with Prince Cedric, she manages to save the Finra cub, which also earns her the Demon King's trust. Sometime later, Aileen is informed that the pharmaceutical factory and construction business she founded will be handed over to Cedric. Although this is very disadvantageous, Aileen must comply because of a mistake she made when creating the contract in the past. Therefore, Aileen is required by her father to cover the losses before the evening banquet. Knowing this, Aileen immediately seeks out an old acquaintance named Jasper to help her with the problem. After that, Aileen asks Claude for permission to allow other humans to enter his territory. Additionally, Aileen wants the workers who were previously involved in her business to work on repairing Claude's castle. The reason is that Aileen wants to help them after they were unjustly fired by Cedric. Unexpectedly, Claude agrees to the request. Furthermore, Claude also permits Aileen to use land in his territory for her business purposes. Hearing this, Aileen asks Jasper to expose the embezzlement of funds by the nobles. Once they are caught, Aileen plans to use the recovered money as capital. After ensuring that all her plans are legally sound, Aileen takes the workers to meet the Demon King. These workers include a journalist, a pharmacist, and a talented architect who previously worked with her. Currently, they harbor great resentment toward Prince Cedric for ruining everything. However, the Demon King is in a bad mood, causing the weather around them to suddenly worsen. Therefore, they can't stay outside for long and must quickly enter the castle. At that moment, Claude states that his only requirement is that they must not harm or endanger the monsters while they are there. Within Claude's barrier, all movements are under his control. The repairs to the castle will be entirely up to the workers. After that, Aileen assigns one of the workers, Doni, to start repairing the castle immediately. 
Jasper is tasked with investigating the nobles' embezzled funds, while the rest will assist with work related to the pharmacy. However, Aileen realizes that Cedric has taken over her pharmacy business, so she plans to create new products like beauty cosmetics. Besides, having Claude on their side will provide an incredible promotional effect. Not long after, the news about Aileen building a business with the Demon King has reached Prince Cedric. This news naturally makes him uncomfortable. Meanwhile, Ruck and the other pharmacy members successfully develop new cosmetics, and Aileen is very pleased with the progress. Additionally, the castle renovations are going very smoothly, thanks to Doni's architectural skills. They also managed to build new facilities for work. Moreover, the person who embezzled funds has been caught, resolving the financial issues. But behind this success, a new problem arises for Aileen. As someone sends a threatening letter to Lilia, and Aileen is accused of being the culprit. To uncover the mastermind, Aileen assigns a crow monster named Amon to solve the case. Before attending the noble meeting, Claude sends a gift to Aileen in the form of clothes and accessories, making Aileen worried she won't look good in them. But her appearance turns out to be quite nice. Even her father thinks Cedric might fall in love with Aileen again. However, Aileen says she will reject him. On that occasion, Aileen shows her father that the cosmetics business managed by her acquaintances is running under the name Oberon Company. And the nobles are talking about it because her products are very satisfactory. With full confidence, Aileen says that their family's losses will soon turn into profits. At the same time, Aileen's right-hand man, Isaac, informs her that thanks to Amund, the person behind the threatening letter has been identified. Unfortunately, it seems that her situation is still not safe, as Lilia is reported missing. If this continues, Aileen will be accused of kidnapping. On the other hand, Lilia is talking to the Demon King, planning to win his heart with various sweet promises. However, Claude feels he already has Aileen, so he is not interested in her sweet words. And upon learning that Cedric is the reason Lilia met him, Claude becomes even more displeased. At the same time, Cedric accuses Aileen of kidnapping Lilia despite having no evidence. He assumes that Aileen did it because he believes she still wants to be with him. However, Aileen immediately denies it and, in front of everyone, declares that she would never want to be with him again, even if she died. This makes Cedric extremely angry, to the point of acting violently toward Aileen. Fortunately, Claude arrives just in time to accompany Aileen while she fills out the engagement cancellation documents. Since Cedric still doesn't believe her, Aileen points to the evidence proving her innocence by comparing the threatening letter and the invitation letter sent by Lilia. Upon examination, they are able to determine that the letters came from the same source, meaning Lilia fabricated the threatening letter just to frame Aileen. Because of this, Cedric is left speechless and unable to do anything, while Aileen and Claude continue the dance party as if nothing happened. Despite this, Aileen still hopes that Cedric will be happy with his new partner, as he once helped her and was a companion during her childhood. Unfortunately, Cedric cannot accept it because Aileen chose his brother over him. Additionally, he feels betrayed and refuses to forgive Aileen. Not long after the evening banquet, the relationship between Aileen and Claude becomes closer, to the point where Claude dares to give Aileen a farewell kiss before parting with her. The next day, Aileen realizes that Claude's subordinate named Keith is doing something bad behind Claude's back, according to the game's storyline. Upon investigation, Keith is found to be selling monsters illegally. In the game, this act is considered a major betrayal by the loyal followers of the Demon King. If Claude found out, he would be overwhelmed with negative emotions and transform into an evil dragon. Furthermore, if this scenario were to occur, Lilia would immediately defeat Claude using her holy sword. It was then revealed that Claude saved Keith once when someone pushed him into a river, using his magic in front of the servants to save him. Because of this, people realized that Claude was the Demon King and had to be exiled to a castle. Since then, Keith has vowed to always be loyal to Claude, but due to his mistake, he was threatened by someone and forced to sell monsters illegally. Knowing this, Aileen is not going to let the issue slide. With her connections and power, Aileen immediately prepares a plan to address it. Unfortunately, Cedric and Lilia have already learned about the monster selling case. Therefore, they quickly go to report it to Claude. However, Claude does not want to listen to them, even though Lilia insists that Keith is selling monsters for money. Aileen then appears and says something to intimidate Lilia, causing her to leave. After Lilia and the others leave the castle, 
Keith immediately goes to Claude to confess his mistake. But before reporting in detail, Keith asks for time to complete Eileen's order first. In short, while making a transaction with the Monster Trader Group, Keith and his partner Belzebuth work together to seize the trader's report book. If they succeed, Keith won't have to worry about the trader's threats, as he can prove his innocence. Additionally, the trader group can be arrested for illegal activities. However, shortly afterward, Lilia and the others arrive at the scene. Using the power of Lilia's holy sword, Cedric dares to kidnap Aileen out of revenge, intending to make her his second wife. To get his father's approval, Cedric even locks Aileen in an empty room and plans to assault her first, as he also wants to see Claude's reaction when he finds out. Meanwhile, at the castle, Claude receives information from Keith and Belzebuth that Aileen has been taken by Cedric. Knowing this, Claude immediately takes action to rescue Aileen. But when he sees Cedric doing something to Aileen, he cannot contain his anger. In the end, Claude transforms into a monster, just like the events in the game. When Lilia is about to defeat him, Aileen steps in to stop her, sacrificing herself. Being struck by the Holy Sword causes Aileen pain, but because the blood of the Holy Sword also flows within her, Aileen has a special ability to take the sword from Lilia. The incident makes Aileen cry, and when her tears touch Claude, a miracle occurs, reverting Claude back to his original form. In the end, Aileen decides not to explain this matter to the public, but with the condition that the king restores Claude's position as crown prince. However, the obstacles Aileen faces are far from over. In the game, there is a possibility that monsters will destroy someone's territory, and Claude will be held responsible. If that happens, his chance of becoming king will be ruined, and Aileen will also face a grim fate. After receiving a letter about a monster attack on humans, Claude decides to handle it by becoming the representative leader. However, the ruler of that region is ill, so Claude also has to take on the duties of a leader at the academy. Sensing something ominous, Aileen wants to go there as well, but Claude forbids her from going because the enemy is likely to target her. Additionally, the local culture there has a special system where women must submit to men. Based on the game's content, Aileen remembers that the commotion this time is caused by the use of magical incense. Knowing this, Aileen is not going to stand idly by. To deceive everyone, she infiltrates the academy as a male transfer student. However, on her first day at the academy, Aileen already encounters trouble when she sees a female student being bullied by her fiancé. At that moment, Aileen immediately defends the girl and confronts the bully. Additionally, Aileen states that she does not want to follow the teachings of the holy girl, causing some students to immediately dislike her. After that, Aileen recalls her memories from the game and searches for the student council members. Apparently, Aileen remembers that the student council president, named James, is the final boss of the second game series and has the potential to cause disturbances. When arriving in class, some students bully Aileen. However, she has experienced this often since becoming Prince Cedric's fiancé, so she is used to it and doesn't pay much attention to it. Aileen is only concerned with the important character named Selena, who will confront her one day. Additionally, Aileen plans to join the student council. On the other hand, Claude, feeling lonely, sends a letter to Aileen. At the same time, Claude also receives news from Keith that one of the students is a demon descendant. Aileen is accompanied by a student council member named Augusto to meet James to request permission to join the student council for general affairs. Although she doesn't fully understand the conditions at the academy, Aileen says she is confident in her abilities. Initially, James refused to accept it as he was against allowing a transfer student to join so easily. Nevertheless, Aileen was still given the opportunity to prove her abilities. At that time, James assigned her to investigate the case of an injured student, as it most likely involved a monster. Hearing this, Aileen immediately forms a guard patrol and conducts nightly patrols. During one patrol, Aileen sees one of the academy teachers doing something to a female student named Rachel. When Aileen chases after him, she instead encounters James, who is partially transformed into a demon. However, James's monster transformation is not complete, and he quickly regains his senses. Because of this, Aileen tries to divert attention so that James can escape. Unfortunately, another student council member named Walt witnesses the incident. Additionally, Walt has realized that Aileen is a girl. When Walt questions her true identity, Aileen reveals that she also knows Walt's background, 
as he is a priest trained by an organization to exterminate monsters. Despite this, Aileen assures him that she will not reveal his identity to anyone. Therefore, she asks Walt to keep her secret as well. In the end, Walt agrees with Aileen, because knowing that she is a girl brings him no advantage. Not long after, they continue their investigation. With Rachel's testimony, they conclude that the real culprit is someone else. Nevertheless, the teacher had indeed committed a wrongdoing, so Isaac, who accompanied Aileen in infiltrating the academy, will take care of him. The next day, Aileen finds a love letter posted on the bulletin board. Upon seeing it, Aileen realizes it is a love letter entrusted by her friend to Selena. Therefore, Aileen quickly reprimands the students laughing at the letter to prevent the issue from spreading. Soon after, a student council member named Kyle also steps in by tearing up the letter. On the same day, a representative of the monsters named Astart issued a statement that if the Holy Sword Girl was not handed over, he would cause a rain of blood during the school festival. Aware of this threat, Claude decides to take preventive measures with regular visits. A few days before the festival, the students start looking for dance partners. At that time, a male student tries to force a girl to be his partner. However, the boy is too aggressive, so Aileen steps in, wearing a duck costume. Seeing this, Selena scolds her, but Aileen responds that her actions are much better than posting a friend's love letter on the bulletin board. Shortly after, Claude begins his visits to the academy. Knowing this, Aileen tries to stay away from him, while Selena approaches Claude, making Aileen jealous, especially since he appoints Selena to coordinate with him. This makes Selena more arrogant, and Aileen and the others can't stand her bragging. In short, while patrolling, James realizes that his members are hiding something from him. Additionally, Aileen has seen his monster form, so James immediately interrogates her, threatening to kill her. To prove that she is not his enemy, Aileen demonstrates her ability to summon a monster, showing James that she is not part of the organization targeting him. Moreover, Aileen reveals that her target is a demon named Astart. Unexpectedly, Astart is James's real name, but he abandoned it long ago. Meanwhile, the person who recently announced the attack may be trying to frame James as the culprit. Knowing this, Aileen assures him that she will still try to defend him. Elsewhere, Claude is seen thinking about how to join the festival and, Despite his position, he wants to participate in the event to make friends with someone. The next day, the school festival begins, and Aileen doesn't want to be the only person drawing the Demon King's attention. Therefore, during the event, Aileen and her companions patrol in duck costumes. Seeing this, Claude remains curious about the face behind the duck costume. A little while later, before the match, Cal informs that the organization wants to eliminate the monster that infiltrated the academy using magical incense, as it could be considered a traitor. Knowing this, Walt and Cal have no way to stop it. But if left unchecked, the Demon King will also be affected and turn into an evil dragon. Therefore, Claude can't participate in the tournament, and they decide to give him a sleeping potion. Shortly after Claude drinks it, Selena wakes him up, rendering the potion ineffective. Knowing this, Aileen has no choice but to stop him directly. Dressed in the duck costume, Aileen tries to provoke his anger by insulting his fiancée, who is actually Aileen herself. Hearing this, Claude can't tolerate the insult and takes Aileen to the arena to teach her a lesson. The other duck costume participants don't stay idle, as they also enter the tournament arena to fight the Demon King. Although the plan doesn't go as expected, they manage to destroy all the hidden incense. However, the Demon King is too powerful, and those helping Aileen can't hold out for long. After defeating them, Claude demands they show their faces and explain themselves. Fortunately, Keith arrives just in time and doesn't allow his master to stay there any longer, as his business is done. After that, Claude intends to withdraw, realizing that there are infiltrators planning to cause trouble at the event. In the end, the first day of the school festival concludes peacefully. After the sword tournament ends, the next event is the dance party. Additionally, the girls can participate in a beauty contest called the Lily Princess Contest. According to Jasper, the prize for this contest is magical incense. To prevent misuse, Rachel decides to enter the contest. However, Selena sabotages her, making Aileen angry and determined to replace Rachel to get revenge on Selena. Sometime later, when Aileen wears a gown, James and the others are surprised by how beautiful her looks. Thanks to her beauty, Aileen becomes the center of attention as she takes the stage. Fortunately, 
Aileen often participates in social events among nobles, making the other contestants no match for her. After coming off the stage, Aileen greets the student council members. Unlike before, this time they are shy but eagerly compete to be Aileen's dance partner. Among the four men, Aileen chooses James because he stands out more than his friends. Meanwhile, Rachel can only watch Aileen from the audience. Although she didn't get to participate, Rachel doesn't regret it. She is cheerful because Isaac is paying attention to her. At the same time, during the dance evaluation, Selena withdraws to see Rachel's despair. However, Rachel remarks that Selena is more desperate because a participant more beautiful than her, Aileen, has appeared. Shortly after, Aileen is declared the winner and receives her prize. At that moment, she quickly takes the prize away from the crowd, but it turns out to be just an incense burner, while the real magical incense is held by Selena. Unaware of its true nature, Selena intends to use it to expose the demon infiltrating the academy. As a result, James inhales the incense and begins transforming into a demon. As priests, Walt and Kyle have the duty to eliminate him. But before that happens, Aileen quickly calms them and prevents James from fully transforming. Initially, James does nothing, but due to Selena's actions, he transforms into a monster, posing a significant danger. Now that James has returned to being human, they all agree that Selena is at fault. Unfortunately, Selena doesn't understand her mistake, as she was merely following someone's request. A few moments later, the monster army suddenly arrives at the academy. In this situation, Aileen has no choice but to summon the Holy Sword and reveal her disguise. With the Holy Sword, Aileen intends to protect her friends and fight the monsters alone, even though Claude is also present there. In the end, the issue with the magical incense is resolved by the Demon King, while Aileen has to accept punishment for disobeying Claude's orders. At the same time, the student council members still can't believe that Aileen is a woman and also the Demon King's fiancé. To calm Claude's anger, Aileen decides to meet him while wearing the duck costume. Unfortunately, Claude has closed his heart and refuses to listen to Aileen. However, Claude still loves Aileen and orders her to be locked up so she can't get away from him. Knowing this, many people stand up for her, making the Demon King realize that Aileen is not entirely at fault. After receiving much support from her friends, Aileen decides to recruit them as her subordinates. Sometime later, after gathering enough information about the recent events at the Academy, Aileen begins to realize that Lilia is the real culprit. Like Aileen, Lilia also has knowledge about the game and carries memories from a previous life. On the other hand, Claude goes to the palace to attend the Queen's invitation. During this visit, Claude meets Cedric. Despite everything that has happened, Cedric still wants to compete with him for the position of Crown Prince. On the same day, Aileen undertakes another dangerous task. Accompanied by her followers, Aileen visits a secret place where people conduct illegal auctions. Claude is unaware of this, and Aileen is still undeterred even after making him angry. Apparently, Aileen's goal in going there is to free the auction monsters and obtain evidence about the place. Coincidentally, Aileen met Elphas, a man who had stolen the guest list, and he agreed to cooperate as long as Aileen introduced him to the Demon King. After securing the evidence, Elphas instructs Aileen to jump, promising to catch her with wind magic. However, Claude has already discovered Aileen's whereabouts, so he quickly rescues Aileen and teleports her back home. After that, Claude plans to punish Aileen in a romantic manner, but Elphas suddenly appears and wants to talk to Claude, allowing Aileen to escape the situation. At that moment, Elphas desperately needs Claude's help to save his clan from destruction. Where Elphas hopes that once Claude becomes king, his clan will be granted citizenship rights. Not long after, Aileen was forcibly sent home, and while taking a bath, she realized that she had missed a major event in the game. Shortly after, Amund reports that the Demon King has disappeared. Besides Amund, Aileen's father also informs her that Claude has been stabbed by an unknown person. Additionally, Claude is suffering from amnesia and cannot be visited by just anyone. Knowing this, Aileen immediately goes to the palace, but the king declares that Claude is no longer the Demon King and wants to let him live as a human again. Regarding Aileen's engagement to Claude, they are looking for a reason to cancel it. Hearing this, Aileen refuses to accept that her engagement is being unilaterally canceled by the king. Therefore, Aileen wants to meet with Claude again. At the same time, Lilia and Cedric also support Aileen, 
though they seem to have ulterior motives. At that moment, Lillian and Cedric even plead with the Queen to allow Aileen to meet with Claude. In the end, the Queen permits them to meet once during the dance party. However, if Aileen meets Claude before then, the Queen threatens to eliminate her. Despite the risk to her life, Aileen is determined to see Claude as soon as possible. After locating him, Aileen sneaks in with Elphus. Knowing that Claude is still alive brings Aileen some peace of mind. Unfortunately, Claude does not recognize Aileen at all, so she proposes to him again, just like when they first met. On this occasion, Aileen also tells him that she is his fiancée and forbids him from being unfaithful. No matter how many times she has to try, Aileen is determined to win Claude's heart again. In short, Aileen has just been informed that Claude's health has improved. Additionally, Claude will be going out on an inspection to deepen the people's positive impression of him, which is a good step to boost political support. However, it seems that Lilia is organizing this inspection, likely to trigger an event from the game. Realizing this, Aileen plans to find a way to restore Claude's memory and intends to infiltrate the inspection team a few days beforehand. Aileen then meets Claude again and asks him to keep her secret if he sees her during the inspection. However, Claude refuses because his memories of Aileen have not returned. At that moment, Claude feels very uncomfortable when Aileen approaches him. Despite this, Aileen continues to pursue him persistently. Not long after, Cedric and Lilia visit. Before being discovered, Claude quickly hides Aileen in a wardrobe. Apparently, Cedric's reason for visiting is to discuss the inspection schedule, while Lilia tries to approach Claude using the same methods Aileen used before. Fortunately, the current Claude is not easily swayed, but Aileen still feels jealous because Claude seems to respect Lilia more than her. At the same time, Selena and Augusto are having an argument. To lighten her punishment, Selena wants to meet Cedric and gain protection by becoming his concubine. It seems that Selena no longer admires Lilia because she cannot discern her true nature. Sometime later, during Claude's inspection, Aileen disguises herself as the leader of the knights protecting him on the journey. Upon seeing Aileen, Claude immediately drags her to a secluded place. Besides feeling uncomfortable, Claude is also very worried because Aileen will be executed if caught meeting him. However, Aileen is not afraid of punishment because her position will be secure if Claude continues to uphold their engagement. Because of this, Cedric warns Aileen to quickly return to her position, but Aileen does not comply, and they end up having a long argument. Realizing that Aileen and Cedric seem very familiar with each other, Claude thinks it's better to stay away from her. While riding in the carriage, Lilia suddenly says that Cedric cannot come, meaning it will be just the two of them in the carriage. At that moment, Lilia tries to seduce Claude but fails because a monster interrupts them. The monster could read the Demon King's thoughts, and since Claude had previously thought about distancing himself from Aileen, the monster interpreted Aileen as an unwanted woman. Hearing this deeply hurt Aileen, and she decided to stay away from Claude if her presence truly disturbed him. As time passed, after Aileen gave up, Claude began to realize that he loved her. Meanwhile, Aileen had decided not to attend the party and had thought of a new life goal to avoid a tragic end. However, it seems fate had other plans, as the Demon King sent a dress for her. At the same time, Aileen's subordinates also insisted that she attend the party. However, her mood had not improved, so Aileen decided to meet Claude again, wearing a duck mask. Arriving like that made the other guests laugh at Aileen, while Claude was eager to see her face, but Aileen kept refusing. Claude then took her outside the room, forcibly removed the mask, and confessed his feelings to Aileen again. Although Aileen was still upset, she could not resist the Demon King's charms. In the end, Aileen agreed to return to the party and publicly show their relationship. But while fixing her makeup, Aileen suddenly faced an unexpected problem, as Elpha suddenly betrayed her and framed her with false accusations. At that moment, Aileen was accused of carrying magical incense and planning to summon monsters to attack the hall. Furthermore, to separate Aileen from the Demon King, Elphas also claimed to everyone that he had a close relationship with her. Realizing that the enemy had taken monsters hostage, Aileen could not deny his claims. When Claude asked if Aileen still loved him, she loudly declared that there was no way she could love a monster like Claude. But Amund suddenly appeared and tried to reveal the truth, only for Elphas to attack him right in front of Claude. This made Claude furious, creating a tense atmosphere in the room. However, 
The incident helped Claude regain his memories. Before the royal guards could capture Aileen, Claude used his power to transport her back to a safe place. Meanwhile, after sensing the presence of the Demon King, Belzebuth and the monsters feel somewhat relieved. But they also find it strange because Amun's aura suddenly disappears. Realizing that the royal forces are coming, they prepare to evacuate the monsters. On the other hand, Lilia starts showing her true nature. After failing to win over the Demon King, she tries to weaken him, unwilling to be outdone by Aileen. In short, Aileen is captured and just placed in detention. Along with Aileen, Elphaz is also detained for not completing his task properly. Unfortunately, Aileen has not forgiven Elphaz for what he did to Amund. However, Elphaz still wants to save his clan and admits that all these problems were caused by Lilia. To atone for his mistake, Elphaz offers one of his eyes. He explains that a wizard's eye is very valuable because it can enhance magical tools, and his eye can be used to release the Demon King spell. Elsewhere, Eileen's subordinates are being chased by guards. Unexpectedly, Selina suddenly appears and helps them escape from the guards. Furthermore, she also agrees to lead them to where the Demon King is. After escaping from the prison, Aileen and Elphaz head to the Demon King's location. At the same time, they see monsters running towards the capital to save their master. To prevent chaos, Aileen stops them and says that she will personally go to save the Demon King. Knowing this, James then informs Aileen that they have arrived at the Demon King's chamber. However, the Demon King is unconscious because his magical power has been sealed. Fortunately, Aileen knows about the magical item sealing Claude's power because Selina once investigated the palace, so she quickly asks Selina about the location of the magical tool. After learning the location of the magical tool, Aileen and Elphaz immediately head there. But they are immediately confronted by Lilia, who has reactivated her magic sword. To obtain the sword, she completed another route in the game with great difficulty, but the results were worth it. With the high attributes of the holy sword, Lilia can fight Aileen with superior strength. At that moment, Aileen tries to seize her enemy's holy sword, but her own sword is nearly taken because Lilia has learned how to do so. However, as the future wife of the Demon King, Aileen refuses to give up. Thanks to her determination, Aileen is able to harness the Demon King's power and successfully destroy Lilia's holy sword. Unfortunately, the room Aileen needs to reach is sealed by magic. Additionally, the Demon King's power is weakening, leaving Aileen unable to continue fighting. At the last moment, Amon suddenly arrives to help. It turns out that the attack by Elphas earlier only caused Amon to be in a state of suspended animation. With Amon's assistance, Elphas is able to deactivate the Queen's magical tool, which had been manipulated by Lilia, restoring the Demon King's power. When Aileen is surrounded by Lilia's forces, Claude suddenly steps in to protect her and clears her of all accusations. Meanwhile, Lilia and Cedric are to be punished for their involvement in the rebellion. In the end, Claude and Aileen officially marry and live happily ever after. Moral lesson from the story, if a duck costume can't save your kingdom, at least it can save your dignity. Remember, sometimes the best strategy is just to quack up and hope for the best.